here we have a Trisonic brand soldering iron. I bought it at a dollar store and I honestly wondered how bad could it be? Well, I tried turning it on. It started smoking a lot, which the package said it would, and some soldering irons do that. But after using for a while, I began to realize it started to melt the, uh, the plastic handle. And it just got, kept on getting worse and worse. And then I started to notice that it started getting weaker. So I'm wondering if it feels like these have just been stripped in there. It didn't get all the that hot either. I only spent like $1.99, I think, on this. It's one of those dollar stores that, you know, they say, oh, we're a dollar store, but they sell things for $5 and $10 and yeah. Just as I thought. That is just twisted together. I haven't had this open. I thought this was going to be the case. Uh, that this thing was basically a death trap. Right, I need to take apart this. It's... Looks like it's stamped sheet metal, and it's, uh, oh, autofocus isn't on. I just need to separate the two halves. Hold on. This reminds me a lot of a soldering iron, uh, BigClive.com, that's the channel name. The one that he took apart. I know this is ridiculously hard to see, but all this is, is mica, I think. That, it's a mineral that sometimes grows, uh, and you, you find them in, I found them a lot in my, like, garden. And, like, in big sheets, it's like a sheet kind of mineral. Or at least I think it's a mineral. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But it's an interesting looking, uh, kind of flaky, whatever it is. But that's all this is, is it's metal with mica. Oh, I finally untwisted this wire, so let's untwist it. That's probably what's holding this together. Yeah, I'm hoping this isn't like some kind of asbestos and just mica. I th I'm very sure it's mica, but... I've never taken one of these apart, nor do I know what the innards of them, uh, you know what they were, how they work, what they look, well, I know what they look like, but not this exact one, so I'm not going to say anything on what I think is and isn't. Well, I might say what I think is and isn't, but I'm not going to, don't quote me. What the heck? There's this ridiculously thin wire in this. Is this the element? I wonder. Oh, yeah, it's just going around and around and around. I think that is the element. Ceramic? Oh, God. Oh, oh I should have scratched that. Oh, that made the worst sound in the world. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't break this, because this, this could be something harmful. Something this hard, and when it breaks, it's just powder. 
That's the company, Trisonic. Uh, they make a lot of electronics uh, that I see in dollar stores, or at least this dollar store that lives uh, that lives near me, that is near me. Uh, I would avoid them because that's pretty scary. Because only these were on loosely covering two wires that were just stranded together. Where's the lead? I'll show you the lead. Ah, yeah, here it is. Just these loose little things right here. That's all that was protecting it from shorting out. I'm probably creating a gigantic fireball in my hand. Lovely. Uh, just a, a regard for that, quote, fireball in my hands. There was actually a piece of plastic in the middle there. Uh, that's not much, though, considering... Um, they were just twisted together. I'm not sure if that... Does that completely... No, it only blocks like half of it. Alright, so here's the... The soldering irons box. And I don't think it's going to be able to be seen, but... There's like this weird saying on the bottom. As you become more detached from the world, rather than denying your humanity, you become more... <laughs> I'm not sure what they're implying with that, uh, considering it's just a tool and it's not a self-help book. It also says that it is designed and engineered in the USA. I don't think that's true, considering how much of a fire hazard it was. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, smoke didn't come out of the tip end. It came out of the, like, perforated barrel of the tool. Uh, the only thing I could think of with that, like, little bizarre saying on the bottom is that that was from a Chinese fortune cookie. And when it was being made in China, perhaps the machine lineup got a little mixed up. And it somehow got it printed on the box. And when it says, as you become more detached from the world, the only thing I could assume with that as well is that once you use this and you electrocute yourself, you're more detached from the world and then you can become more humane. Mm. 